God, she's gorgeous. This is killing me. Maybe I can just go and rob myself against her. Say I'm doing an experiment. No, too pathetic. Okay, here goes. The nuclear option. The ultimate. So, Nancy, I just wanted to say how much I'm enjoying not having sex with you. Really? Yeah. Come on, Jez. Death or glory. In fact, I was going to propose that we should probably never have sex again. I mean, all that humping and pumping. We could take all of that wasted energy and try and accomplish so many more important things. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, that's great, Jez, but I really wanted this to bring us, you know, closer together. Oh, but it has. I feel incredibly close to you without any pressure to be sexual. I mean, these. I mean, they're just a pair of human breasts, for Christ's sakes. Now I can finally appreciate your whole body without any stupid sexual desire. Well, yeah, I mean, celibacy, that's, that's great, but maybe it's all just a bit of naughty Nancy. Nancy can't have fun. Nancy must be punished. And maybe I should just say, fuck you, Mom. Oh, yeah, take that, God. Shove this up your toga, you big beardy killjoy. Hey, where's Nim? Oh, Nim's gone. Where? Well, he's fine. Mark chucked him out. Jesus, Jeremy. Poor Nim. Where exactly is Nim? Oh, Nim, 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 Nim. Fucking Nim! Look, if you love Nim so much, why don't you go and find him and screw him? Okay, fine. I will go and try and find Nim. You know, just to make sure that he's not like, I don't know, dead or something. Oh, Nancy, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Come back. Oh, please, I'm dying here. Just, you know, touch it. Blow on it. You can use a tea towel.